Hello everybody and welcome to the video. Today we're going to be looking at some TikTok art hacks. Yeah, some of those. I'm, I, I, I can't say I'm super excited about this, but you know, I figured it'd be interesting and it'd be a fun little time for everyone. So um, without further ado, let's just get started. So the first thing that we need is obviously a canvas. So I uh, can't really get started with on art hacks without a canvas. So let's just get that bad boy open. And of course, I don't know how to use the clipboard on Photoshop to make sure that, you know, the canvas is the appropriate size. Because why would I know how to do that? That's just <laughs> ridiculous. So uh, now we need to do a drawing. So with a little bit of editing magic, you don't have to watch me just struggle to draw and make a picture for these TikTok art hacks. Ready? Three, two, one. And voila, looky there. A, just a beautiful, nice little drawing. And now we can actually get started on all of the TikTok art hacks that I found and compiled and determine if they're worth it or not. <laughs> so let's look at the first one. So when I first saw this TikTok, my initial thought was, wow, what a big brain move on this artist's part. Because that's just so smart. That's such a good trick for spotlights and even some different lightings. Like that, that'd be a cool thing to mess around with with different types of lighting. It'd be really, really cool. And I would love to use that in my artwork. So I looked through the little filter list thingy, as you're seeing right now, and uh, there, there's no ad. Photoshop doesn't have an ad. They have like the linear dodge that has ad in parentheses, but uh, they don't have like just a normal ad. Um, so I, I, I did what all people who are old and confused do, and I Googled it. I typed in my little computer, is there an ad on Photoshop, like the filter, and no dice, no luck. So despite this, I just went ahead and tried the art hack using the linear dodge, add, filter thing, and uh, I was like hopeful. I was like, maybe it'll still work, <laughs> even though I don't have the quote-unquote proper filter thing. So I did the little gouache and blur. What a fancy blur. I've never used that blur prior to because I just used the normal one. <laughs> I didn't realize that there were different types of blurs. I just did like normal blur for all my, all my blurrings. And um, I tried it. I, I put it in the, the vivid light, the main color in vivid light. And then there was, look at it, look at it. It's, oh, it's atrocious. Look at it, it's awful. It did not work. It didn't work at all. You see how it was supposed to look at the TikTok and then how it does work, how, how it does look? That's not right. It doesn't, it's not supposed to look like that. <laughs> but I was so frustrated and determined that I just kept trying different things. I tried like a different color. I tried a darker color. I tried different opacities. I literally tried everything. <laughs> I was so determined for this art hack to work. I was like, please work. Please, please, please. I need this in my life. But it wasn't working. So... I just, I had to, I had to let it go. I had to, I had to just let this one go and not be able to use it and just have to be okay with that. Um, so I, this one doesn't work for me. It, it probably works for the system and software that the artist used. 
doesn't work on Photoshop, at least as far as my little pea brain can tell. Um, so, yeah, I, I like it though. I do like this art hack. It just doesn't work. So, yeah. Okay, so this art hack seems to be more along the lines of that really, really delicious and scrummy art style that every artist on TikTok has been trying to do or does do. You know what style I'm talking about. Uh, but it's for also just quick rendering, easy rendering, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> but essentially making things look 3D and cool and festive and spicy but um if you don't know this about photoshop uh they have atrocious blending and blur tools so i knew right off the bat i, I don't even know why i even tried this art hack i guess because a part of me was hopeful a part of me was like well you know even though i haven't tweaked or used the blur tool at all Maybe, just maybe, it'll work. So, here you see me trying to tweak it and failing miserably because I don't know how to adjust or change or make brushes at all. Um, I barely made a few brushes a bit ago. Um, I made like a really nice one, a really nice eraser, like soft eraser, and a really nice other rendering tool because I like having multiple textures in my drawings. Um, so I made those because I like having texture, but it was it was a rough process to do so. <laughs> um, so it was equally rough, if not rougher, for a blending tool um, and a blur tool because <laughs> I have no idea how these tools really work because again, I don't use them. I have no reason to use them, so I just have never used them. Um, and yeah, it looks like that. It looks it looks bad. That was after me tweaking it a bunch and uh, A lot of the tweaking you didn't see on camera so, <laughs> it, it did it wasn't good. It, it, it was bad. So yeah So this hack is a bit more about the line of action, your composition, stuff like that. Basically seeing, okay, does my audience look at my canvas long enough? <laughs> As my art teacher would probably say. <laughs> I love her to death though. But um, yeah, so it's, it's essentially like, is this appealing? So let's use it. It worked on my other piece, uh, even though I struggled to draw a figure eight about five times. But uh, let's try it on some other pieces. Let's grab Alias, my OC. Gotta represent. You know how it is. And um, let's, let's see, because as you can see, this is a good example because you have the background, which is interacting with the character in the forefront. It's really, really nice. It's appealing. Yes, it's center, but, you know, it, it still looks nice. It's a nice, everything's flowy. His wings help give some dynamic and, and not everything's so straight on. This one's also good because both characters are off-center. They're not completely in the center and they're interacting with one another. Figure eight, once again. Woo! Look at that. Looks so good. Looks so scrummy. It's a really good way to check yourself, especially if you're still in the drawing stage. I did these after I had already finished these drawings, obviously. But uh, <laughs> it's a good way to check and seeing like, okay, is this dynamic enough? Is it interactive enough? Is it flowy enough? Does it make sense? Does it look good? Will people see this and look at it longer than just five seconds? Stuff like that. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's just a good tip and little like tidbit to have in the back of your mind. I like that word, tidbit. I should use that more often. Um, <laughs> anyways, on to the next one. We're gonna try the one with um, 
the little, the little angel guy, a uh, little god guy. And uh, yeah, it looks good. This one's also a bit more centered. I don't know why I kept doing pieces that had the character more centered. He's a little bit off center, but yeah, whatever. I guess I, I've just been feeling in a center canvas mood recently. <laughs> but uh, this one really works well with this trick because if you notice, his entire character and body takes up the entire page. This pose is a lot more dynamic than I'm, what I'm used to. It really pushed me out of my comfort zone. Um, and as you can see, I try to do it with the moon, but it definitely fits better with the entire character. It's a theatrical pose because it is based off of the, th the theater musical, musical Jekyll and Hyde. But um, overall, I really like this trick. It's a good thing to have in your back pocket and your little art toolbox, tool belt, whatever. So uh, I like it. I like it a lot. So this TikTok I remember seeing on the artist uh, YouTubers Coolines on their roasting TikTok art tutorial video, and I didn't purposely find this video as like a nod back or whatever, but um, yeah, I just stumbled upon it because I was looking through the like little hashtags as one does. And then I found it and I was like, oh my god, that's the one that Colleen did. So I decided to add it into mine and see if it worked for mine. But um, I was a bit cautious because when it comes to blurring stuff too, it's like you never know how it's going to look. <laughs> um, and um, I think it's safe to say that this, it was a trust the process moment the entire time. Like I was blobbing on the, the red and yellow on there and I was like oh that's rough and then I blurred it and I was like oh that's rough and I put it on put opacity and I was like oh that's rough it just it looks good I guess but it looks a bit weird because now the face skin tone doesn't match the rest of the skin tone so it just looks a bit odd maybe it's because I didn't shade the entire piece or whatever but um, it just looks weird to me I don't know why um, so then I was like, you know what, maybe I should just try it on the entire piece. Like, not just the face, but do it on the whole thing. So that's what I did. I could have used the paint bucket, you know, like a normal person. Because I had it on a clipping mask, so I could have just easily put it on with the paint bucket. But I didn't. Uh, I made it harder on myself. And then I got that. I mean, it's technically in the orange family. Like, gold, orange, whatever. But, um, yeah, it, it, uh, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I like it. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like, it, it was just a trust the moment, trust the process moment the entire time. And the entire time I did not trust the process. <laughs> I was like, I don't trust this at all. It's gonna look weird. And, um, lo and behold, it, it did. It, it, it looked weird. But, um, I mean, look at that. That's like, and like, I guess I do sometimes like splotch a bunch of col colors like this on the entire piece and then I'll blend them all together and it'll look nice. But like these specific colors, they made it way too bright for my art, for my taste. I like more desaturated colors and when I do use more poppy colors, it's very specific. So... Yeah, I don't, I wouldn't use this, um, not on the face and not on the entire body, so, um, yeah. With that being said, take it away, end me. Alright, there's one more final hack, um, and this one goes out to my friend, 
Nim. Um, you're welcome, Nim. I hope you're watching. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm.